welcome and let me take you into the unkillable carry series. I'll be going for super tanky builds on carry champions for a unique unkillable carry experience. You'll be up for a big surprise this series. Just so you guys know, this is the game that's actually in the intro. This game was so good that I chose to put it in the actual intro of this entire series. Thank Yasuo. Thank Yasuo. And yeah, what do I have what do I have to say about this? This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous still to this day. Um And the funny thing is I played this game like three weeks ago four weeks ago a while ago still in a relevant patch that's why i'm uploading it of course um but yes i i don't even remember what i was building the thing is when you play tank yasuo unkillable carry yasuo you can go for multiple builds there's multiple multiple builds you can go wits and this game actually wits and first item would make a lot of sense you can get a hard steel you can get a titanic hydra you can get a Divine Sunder against tanks. You can get an Amaron Twin Guard. You can get a Thorn Mill. You can get anything. And that's the beauty of it. That's why I'm not showing you guys the actual build. You can see what I'm building in this game, of course. But you can go whatever. It's completely situational. Completely, completely situational to go for. I'm against a Teemo, which perhaps is a tiny bit annoying. I mean, there's no way I should lose lane against Teemo because I have a barrier and I'm Yasuo. I can just dash on him. But he's a bit annoying because he can blind me, which can block my ultimate. If in the late game he blinds me, oh, this could be a kill. If I, I can just flash on him, I can flash on him immediately. You see that? He nearly killed me. If that blind came through like a millisecond faster, uh, he would have killed me because my first ability would not have hit. And I have something to say, by the way. Uh, for the skin giveaway of, of last month, of this, of this channel, both winners have claimed their skin. But one of them... No, both winners have messaged me, but one of them did not want a skin. He literally told me, he was. He said, Hey bro, do you know what? Just add the skin to the next month's winners, or whatever you want with it. I'll always comment to support your channel. I like your videos and I learned the game from it. Just give me a shout out in the next video. This is coming from the winner, O Saleh. Um, it's A-O-U and then Saleh. Uh, so massive shout out to you. You're an absolute legend. He won a giveaway, he messaged me and he doesn't want the skin, he just tells me he just supports the videos. And he, I'm gonna add it to the pool. So I'm gonna give away three skins on the main channel and then two more on the second channel. Jesus, we're giving away a lot of skins again. And all you have to do to enter is put that a comment under the video. Um, something else as well, the fitness and diet coaching program is almost gonna start. 11th or 12th of April, I'm releasing the video that actually, you know, talks about it. So that is in like, what, in like five days? And then people can actually start applying to it. So very, very soon, a lot of lives are gonna be changed. And let me tell you, a lot of people are also gonna regret it because this program is gonna last three months. And after three months, I'm gonna show all the results of the people that have joined the program. And I'll, I'll do another program after that, but that one is not gonna be as cheap as, I'm, as the one I'm gonna do right now. Um, just letting you guys know about that. Oh, I can kill him maybe? You see, this is the stupid blind. Come on. Huge. You see how I'm just dashing through them? The funny thing is I'm already unkillable. I'm already on. Did I just buy a heart steal already, by the way? Did I, I think I literally just bought a heart steal already in this game. It looked like to me if, uh, above my eyes that I bought a heart steal already. Or, or am I just blind? Maybe I'm just blind. There's no way, right? Like three minutes in. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh my god, hard steel magic with his boots, wits and imagine this game guys, imagine this game. We're against a Nunu, Teemo and Syndra, all of them magic damage. Uh, I don't remember who their support was, but this is like crazy amounts of magic damage. So wits and plus magic boots, unkillable already. Unkillable. Oh, look at this in the hard steel, boom. I swear to god, hard steel is, I mean, I was gonna say hard steel is too broken. I mean, look at this, I'm just out trading him so I can dodge the Nunu like this. Use the second ability. I should have used the second ability on the team. Oh, yeah, it was my bad. I should have used it on him. Oh my god, what am I gonna do here? Okay. I could have actually outplayed them. If I had blocked Teemo's blind with my second ability, which I could have done very easily, I think. Because I was only rooted. While you're rooted, you can still use your wind well. Pretty sure if I dashed through minions a lot more, I could have killed both of them. I really, really think so. Like, I genuinely think I could have. Um, but it's fine, you know, mistakes happen, it's okay. 
All I can tell is this draft, yeah, they have a Lulu support, so their only physical damage is Jinx. So I can go full magic damage, uh, full magic resist, right? I can maybe catch him here if I just dash through the minions. Let's see. Dash, dash. It's a bit too fast, just a bit too fast. And boom, oh my god. It does so much damage, it's just ridiculous. Close, close. It's to be fair, it's just ridiculous how, how broken the heart steel is. Heart steel is the item that made this entire series possible for this channel, to be honest. Dash, dash, and ah, you flash away, of course. I would have caught him. Waiting for the cooldown of the third ability. And we can utilize this minion here. But he knows it, he's not stupid. Alright. He's fast. With his second ability, the steamo is fast. I just wanna hit him. Is it worth to trade with him like that? I know Nunu is coming here. I know, but I feel like I'm already a bit overextended. So I guess I'm just gonna try to waste their time by going into their jungle. Um, I, I, I know if they chase me, I'll waste their time. They are chasing me, and if they don't chase me, I'll run away. Come on, shield. Look at all this time I'm wasting. Low key? Oh no, I'm dead. What? We're not even we're not even in the mid game of this game. We're not even in the mid game. Together with the Morgana, she helped me. I just killed two people while being one HP. Now can you imagine me having a wits ant? And just to freshen up your mind, wits ant heals you up for a certain amount of HP every basic attack, and of course with Yasuo's first ability if you're below 50% HP. So when I'm below 50% HP, with all that magic resist, plus that healing, plus the heart steal, plus all of that, you can see where this is going. You can kind of see where this is going. Well, you can see it, but you can also actually see it in this video. If this game goes to the late game, guys, I, I'm, I'm ready to ult, but he missed. <laughs> he missed. He missed his ult. Man, the steam mushrooms are annoying, but they're not doing any damage because I have magic resist. Of course, I'm going Wits and after. Nunu should not be a problem, I can just dodge him. I'm just ulting him. Yeah, I mean, here I'm just not gonna do a whole lot of damage. What am I trying to do? I flashed. Oh my god. I'm, I'm trying to make some cool plays here, but yeah, that was a bit too much. I mean, flashing like that, that was a bit of a waste. For sure. I just want to see what me finishing off that Wits Ant in this game, to be honest with you guys. Like, at this point, I'm curious as well, because I played this game like 3-4 weeks ago. I don't even remember how it went. I can just imagine what happens. I can only remember the moment that I put in this intro. That's the only thing I remember. With the Nunu. You guys are about to see that in real time. Because in the intro, it's sped up. In this game, you're going to see all of it in real time. And basically, on how to play this type of Yasuo gameplay, uh, Yasuo built, is... In the early game, you just want to stack up your heart steal a little bit. And then in the late game, you want to... In the mid-late game, sorry. You want to dance around in a team fight, And then you're not necessarily proking your heart steal to stack it. I mean, of course, it's still good to stack it. But you're also just doing it for the damage. Because Yasuo can do AoE damage that applies on-hit effects. So when you use your first ability, the, tor the, you know, the swirling around or the tornado, it applies on-hit effects on everyone hit. So you can proc heart steal on multiple enemies. It's a very, very powerful tool to get a ton of hard steel stacks during a team fight because you're you're so tanky, you, you can dash within all of them. So like use that and actually do dash through all of them. Shield? Give him a shield? Why am I not shielding? Shield! I have a shield! Why am I not shielding? I like I'm re-watching re this game. Why am I not using the shield? The shield is an integral part to playing tank Yasuo. Because even though you're hella tanky, the shield can actually block out very, very big damage from the enemies. So I'm, I have no idea why I'm just not shielding yet. What the hell is wrong with me? Why did I not shield? This was such an easy fight if I had just shielded properly. But I didn't even shield, that's the thing. Did not even shield. So bad, actually. Hmm. Yeah, why, 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 why did I not shield? 
Did I forget? I feel like I forgot. I was too busy trying to do something. Um, I'm, the, the funny thing is, the reason that I'm dying is because I'm playing like I'm already in the late game. I'm not in the late game yet, right? Um, of course, if I'm in the late game with all the magic resist, I can actually play like that and survive everything. Um, that's the whole thing of tanky so but early mid game you're not that tanky yet you're still building up towards that tankiness of course your turret taking is absolute zero um the reason i'm still doing it though is because i guess i didn't i didn't see a way of us stealing this dragon because you know team my tristana was still dead so at least i'm taking this turret we even got a bounty with it so it's good this is actually really bad for us though we're losing a lot but at least i got a turret bounty Push another wave, maybe invade their jungle, we'll see. Mm. Yeah, so pushing this turret is just gonna take way too long. I'm just gonna try to steal away valuable jungle. And again, taking jungle is also slow, but at this point there is nothing better to do for me. Our jungle is not up, I shove the lane. So I'm just trying to take this, this blue buff and it's taking so long. It's taking so, so long way too long look at this imagine if, if the jungler just comes in and snatches it away from me finally after like almost a minute i took it oh no way we're not going for another one please please go to the lane just go to the lane i mean at this point yeah just go to the lane thank you yeah i don't think that guy's gonna kill me although i do need wit's end the moment I buy a Wits Ant, he's, I don't think he's ever going to kill me anymore. Why did he just pop the Vision Plant backwards, by the way? Ah, I'm going Divine Sunderer too for the healing. Oh, I can go Divine Sunderer and Spirit Visage. Because Wits Ant heals me, Spirit Visage. Ooh. She missed her ult again, by the way. Yeah, Jinx is killing me, but I ult the Jinx. Very, very nice. Yeah, I, I knew the Jinx is my main target here because she's I have no armor. She's the only one that can actually kill me. And she's the she's, she's the most fat one in their team as well. So it's a bit dangerous for me that she's the one that's fat, right? Because I have no armor. I have 3.4k health right now. Not a whole lot quite yet. Um, but it's fine. Like, it's fine. I have 400 stacks. That's completely fine 12 minutes into the game. The thing is, these stacks, it's like a compounding effect. The more you get, the faster you stack even more. So that's why it's extremely important to stack as much as you can early game because even though in the late game you actually get more the more you get early game the faster that compounding effect will start right so it's make sure you get as many many stacks as you can especially in that laning phase because in the laning phase it's going to be the easiest to get those stacks you just have to step up to the enemy stay close for like up for a couple of seconds and just proc the stack that's all you have to do without dying for it Ah, I mean, this one I'm never gonna lose. I don't think I'll ever die against the minion. I'm even ulting him. Ignite. Okay, I am winning. We are winning. Demo's here. Yeah, okay. That was a pretty stupid idea. I was winning, but of course they're gonna rotate on me. Uh, of course they're gonna rotate on me. I don't have Divine Sunder yet. The moment I get Divine Sunder, I can easily kill that. But this is also the reason you want to incorporate Divine Sunder in your build. Because with this build, you're going to kill Squishies no problem. Like, Squishies are not a problem. But tanks are definitely a problem. And since you're not going to build a Blade of the New King, you do need some form of some way to beat tanks. And Divine Sunder is perfect. Because not only will you beat the tanks, you're going to heal up. The more HP they have, the more you heal up from them. Which makes you even tankier, so it's like a perfect, perfect item to go for on Yasuo. Device Sunder. I would say 3 item Power Spike is the best on this on, on, on this type of tanky build. Because you need a Heart Steel plus Wits End, and then you want to go Divine Sunder. Of course it depends on the game, but that's generally going to be your build. And with that build, you're like unstoppable. You're literally unstoppable. Yeah, finally a Wind Wall. I can ult him here. In case you're wondering, by the way, when you click on Yasuo's ult and the enemy is under their turret, the ult will automatically put you on the safest spot. Look at the wit's end, the wit's end, the wit's end. The wit's end is healing me, guys. 
That was all the wits in. So like you should not be afraid to ult an enemy under their turret. Unless of course it's like all the way in the middle of their turret. But if they're even remotely close to the to the site, your ult will automatically place you on a safe spot outside of the turret range. So you don't you don't have to be careful about that. That kills me, right? That kills that didn't kill me. Nice. Hmm. I guess nice. I'm just desperately building towards the Divine Thunderer. Oh, they're taking Dragon! I'm teleporting in because I don't want them to get this Dragon. Because this is Dragon Soul. This is Dragon Soul. Okay, nice. My teleport Loki saved the game. I swear to God, if I did not teleport here, he would have taken this Dragon and it would have been Dragon Soul. So, I know, you know, I know I need a Stone Plate, but... I had to go teleport there, otherwise the game would just be lost. We would have just lost the game. If we can engage... Boom, just stop him in his tracks. Again, I just don't think I'm gonna die here. Come on. I don't even know why I'm ulting this Nunu, to be honest. The thing is, I don't have Divine Sunderer. Look at how tanky I am. I'm just not dying. But Divine Sunderer, that's what we're waiting for. That's all I need. Divine Sunderer, and we can just go ham on them. Like that, that's the item. 4k HP, by the way. Getting close to 4.1k already. With a Divine Sunderer, absolute game over. Like, absolute game over, this one. Very nice of Shivana to take this as well, by the way. Just denying them their Dragon Soul. To be fair, I just need to farm now. I just need to farm through that Divine Sunder. Just get it quick. Like, get that item quick. And then go back to fighting. That that, that has been my mistake this game. I've, I've, I've been fighting for way too much. All this fighting is not going to help us win this game. I just need to reach three items. That's all I need to do. And I feel like I'm going to fight again. I don't know. Like, knowing myself, I feel like I'm going to fight again. Look at how I'm positioned. I'm, you can already tell by my positioning that I want to fight. The super aggressive positioning just says it all, really. Oh my god, of course. Don't ult him, please. Okay. But this Nunu is... This guy's playing unkillable Nunu, or what? What the hell is this? He's unkillable as well. I mean, again, Divine... Divine Sunburn, finally. 100 gold for that item. This is so stupid. Ult the Jinx! And she just... Like, this is what I'm talking about. You do so much damage to squishy champions. So, so much to the squishies. This is the intro. This is that intro part. Look. This is the part that's in the intro of the unkillable characters. Kills the Teemo. Look at this. Look, I'm 1 HP. Wits end. I go on the scuttle crap, get the scuttle, and dude, look at that! This was the part that was in the intro. Can I please just go back? Just get that stupid Divine Sunderer, please! Get us dash on this Jinx quick. Close, actually. Very close. Go back. Thank you. Finally, and now I need a Spirit Visage. What was I thinking in the game, though? I think I was going Amaron Twingard, but to be fair, I, maybe a Spirit Physics would have been better this game. I'm teleporting, right? I have it for a reason. So at least just use it. Teleport, 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 teleport! Huh. I did not choose to teleport there. I know I was thinking about it for sure. Ult? Oh, what a dirty catch right there. From over the wall. Mind you, 819 light. Uh, what is that item called? Heart steel. 819 heart steel stacks. That's a lot of stacks. Oof, that Morgana is just nearly one shotting the Jinx. Yeah, at this point, we've won the game. We have Elder Dragon. One more minute. 
We can just end the game right here. Although, although, rune on zero can jinx. Yeah, come on. <laughs> She's defending. I mean, okay, she actually defended. It's not like I did not try to end this game. I definitely was trying my best to end the game. Oh boy, she's defending. She's so strong. I want to shield. I want to shield Windwall for her. Now I need to get the hell my, get my ass out of here. Yeah, she actually genuinely defended that. Insane. Ah, oh, please just go back. Don't suicide. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're stupid. Exactly. You are stupid. You know, when I, when I rewatch my own gameplay, sometimes I, I just realize I'm so stupid sometimes. What was I even doing? And what is he even doing? This Jinx is so strong. Wait, don't tell me this was a loss. What are we doing? Jinx can kill everyone here. Well, how much HP? Four, I have 4.8 thousand HP. What the hell? 4.8k HP. Okay, the Jinx screwed up. She could have actually potentially carried the game, but she completely screwed up right there. And again, now we just need to get Baron and win the game. Yeah. Yeah, we can just take Baron here. I'm gonna teleport now, of course. The best call would be to take Baron. Or if we can catch them and kill them, but Baron is the safest call. So that's why I'm picking Baron indeed. Just go for the Baron. If we get Baron, we should win the game. If they come, we kill them, and then we get Baron, and then we win the game. It's like a win-win situation. There is nothing they can do to win this game now. Because their jungler is dead. Their carry is dead. So like, what are they supposed to do? Nothing. It's taking so long because I'm tanky, so I'm doing no damage to this thing. Okay, that was a horrible smite, by the way, but it's fine. Another ult missed. Giving that to Morgana, because, I mean, it's useless for me. And this Morgana's been playing really well, so of course we give it to the Morgana. Don't be greedy for blue buffs or red buffs. I want to say, though, this tank Yasuo has a surprisingly good wave clear. His turret taking is trash, his objective taking is trash, but his wave clear is definitely okay-ish. It's really not too bad. I can ult her. Oh, I did the Beyblade or Keyblade or whatever thing ulti combo. That was actually beautiful and very clean. For the Yasuo mains, they definitely spotted that one, right? It was a very clean combo. On the Syndra, I did so much damage because I did it. Beautiful. So let's take a look at how much damage I did and everything like that. I'm honestly curious. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious how much damage I did. Must be a ton because of all the fights with the Nunu. And how much I tanked must also be a ton. Let's see. I remember this game was long ago, so I'm gonna be like diamond rank or something. Yeah, diamond, diamond too. That was long ago. So let's see. She got MVP. That's fine. That's okay. 34k damage done. 62k tanked. And the enemy Nunu 61 as well. So thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next Wild Rift video. Bye bye.